What's good, y'all? Friendly Nations here, and today is Wednesday, July 10th, and it is New Comic Book Day, so let's get right into it. Got a decent amount of books today, and today a pretty exciting number one to cover, so starting off with that, X-Men issue one. This is from the whole reboot uh, from the Ashes, so excited to uh, check this one out. They're doing like, I don't know, 12 different X-Men books or something like that, most of which are releasing over the next month or two for their issue ones, but uh, this is the mainline X-Men. Uh, so yeah, really excited to see this. On the cover, they have Juggernaut, uh, in my opinion, most notably, as someone who's joining the X-Men, so really excited to check this one out. Uh, they had the little preview book like a week ago, <clears throat> and so let's see what the rest of the story has to offer. Uh, I picked up three covers for this, the Peach Momoko cover, um, as well as the Scotty Young. I think the Peach Momoko cover is probably going to end up being my cover of the week. This one's super dope, but yeah, picked up three covers for this one. Moving right along, Amazing Spider-Man issue 53. The con uh, continuation with this whole Green Goblin, Spider-Man um, storyline. So let's see what goes on with that. Ultimates issue two. Uh, this one does uh, feature a first appearance for this universe uh, character. So picked up two covers of this one. Uh, I was originally just going to get the cover A, but I thought this cover was super dope as well. Spider-Boy, uh, right up there with Ultimate X-Men, is one of my fa favorite books of the current ongoings. Picked up two covers for this one. This is the cover A, <clears throat> and a variant as well. Next up, this is the final tie-in for Avengers Blood Hunt. This is Avengers 16. This is a second print. I do have the original first printing and a couple covers of it also, but I just thought this cover was too dope to pass up on. This is Doom second printing. This is a wraparound cover featuring the same panel um, from the book. So there's a panel that's just like this that shows all the characters in it. And I remember uh, taking a picture of that panel because I thought it was just so amazing. So see it as a cover, really dope. Kid Venom issue one. Don't know too much about it, but uh, being the Spider Boy is one of my favorites. Currently, I figured why not check out Kid Venom issue one. Another conclusion for the Blood Hunt, uh, Blood Hunt storyline this is Wolverine 3, the final tie in for Wolverine Blood Hunt. Let's see how this concludes. Next up, we have a one shot The Incredible Hulk Blood Hunt. This is issue one. I actually meant to get the cover A, and when I got back, I realized. Um, I got the variant cover, which I was kind of disappointed on. Oh, speaking of which, shout outs to Comic Asylum. Uh, I'm on vacation here in Palm Springs and great shop. They have, um, you know, plenty of new releases, old releases, even some graded books, figures, stuff like that. So very helpful when I went in there. So shout outs to uh, Comic Asylum in Palm Springs. Next up, uh, last week I got the Polybagged issue zero of Moon, uh, Moon Knight, which I didn't want to open, so I was happy to pick up the regular issue zero so that I can actually give this one a read. I already inputted all these digital codes, so I'll be able to read them on my Vision Pro after this. This one included, so excited to check that out. Next up, so I had previously told you guys I'm not much of a DC guy. I got into it a little bit a couple weeks ago, and then um, last week, Absolute Power issue one came out. Super hyped on that, so picked up um, Task Force seven absolute power this is uh one of seven another one i picked up from dc was superman action comics so i have actually never picked up the action comics book i, I picked up some superman books so excited to check this one out i'm actually not too sure maybe someone in the comments can let me know um is the storyline from superman and action action comics like one and the same does it trade off you know bi-weekly or something like that or is it completely separate storylines let me know. Um, this is issue 1067 of Action Comics, and this is my first Action Comics I'm picking up, so excited to jump in. I'm pretty sure this is the start of a new story arc for this, so great jumping on point, um, all things considered, and excited to check this out. So these are the books. I think it was like 11 um, unique books, and then like 15 or so, including the variants. Some of my favorite covers are probably going to be the Doom second printing, and then of course the um, Peach Moloko X-Men. So I'm excited to jump in and check out these books, guys. Thanks for watching as always. Until next time, peace, and I'll see you guys next week.
for Comic Book Wednesday. Until next time, see you later. Peace.